Rest periods. Rest periods are something that's really important in the gym, and a lot of people, when they read training programs, they do ignore the rest periods when they first start out. But the rest period is going to dictate the physiological adaptations that happen from the workout. For example, if you have longer rest periods, you're going to be able to exert more force um, again and again and again, because you're going to give that central nervous system time to recover. If rest periods are shorter, you're going to be working through a little bit more residual fatigue, metabolic or metabolites going to build up in the body. Lactic acid is going to build up in, in, inside the body as well. Coordination is probably going to decrease if rest period decreases as well. So your ability to perform at an optimum level might come down. But we can use both uh, with short rest periods. You know, you're gonna you're gonna maybe be a bit more preferential for certain hypertrophy phases and maybe fat loss phases, whereas longer uh, rest periods are gonna be better for you know your body to repeat um, certain types of exertion again and again and again. So maybe more suited to, to strength. So in this uh, program here, you can see that the A's uh, A1, A2, this, that, those numbers there signify that it's a superset, and we've got bench press and chin ups as a superset. So it's an antagonistic superset working different muscles, and we can see here bench press five to three to five. You've got your four zero reps, your tempo, and 90 seconds rest. You've got your chin ups, same rep scheme, five sets of three to five, four zero reps, your tempo, 90 second rest. So, how the rest periods would work here, you're gonna do your bench press, five sets of five on that four second down tempo. So, we go through again, four, three, two, one, explode up. You do that five times, re rack your bar. You're then gonna take 90 seconds rest in between the bench press and the chin ups. Okay, so you take 90 second rest. Once you've had that rest, you then go to your chin up bar. You're gonna hang, yeah, you're gonna do your five sets of five. Okay, stick into that four second eccentric tempo, so lowering for four, pulling up explosively. Then you take 90 second rest, and you're gonna repeat that for a total of five times. So, guys, yeah, make sure you read the programs properly, um, because, you know, we're writing the programs in a way to get a certain physiological response. If you did the bench press and went straight to the chin ups, then you only had 30 second rest. Guess what's gonna happen to your chin ups? They're gonna be shit, they're gonna suck, you're gonna be able to do nowhere near as many as you could if you had the 90 second rest and also if you bounce straight through back and forth and you go straight back to the bench press your numbers are going to plummet you're not going to be able to build the strength you need to actually build muscle tissue and uh, and improve so yeah that's rest periods hope that helps any questions let us know